All right. Getting everything started. I'm getting ready myself to make a fool of myself to have my uh, mistakes recorded in the annals of history so that down the road while, while I'm on my deathbed I can look at this and people are like hey remember that time you made a fucking fool of yourself and it followed you all the way here to your death uh, that's crazy man do you still regret that and with my last dying words I'll say I regret everything and then I'll die I'll pass away just like that just like that <laughs> all right so we're back with more Danganronpa v3 where we last left off a lot's happened we entered the uh, trial trial of what chapter were we the fourth chapter Trial the fourth chapter in which our beloved Mew was struck in by a smooth criminal. Later, realizing how smooth the criminal actually was, because criminal didn't even know that they were the criminal. <laughs> Rest in peace, Gonta. You will be missed. And Kokichi still remains the worst character ever. He's an asshole. I hate him. But God damn it, he's, he's a good villain. He's making some moves. You know? And between last stream and this stream, all I can think about, besides how much I hate that motherfucker, is what the hell is the deal with him and Rontaro? There's got to be something going on, right? Something's going on there. Now, I'm wondering, right? Within like the past day, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself because at, at some point, Rantaro's, uh, Rantaro's fucking ultimate talent has to come to play and it will be super important, right? And, you know, last time, when we play this, we were searching the school, the new areas, and we ran across a research room. And I stared at it, and I said, Oh, well that's Kokichi's place. And then Monokuma showed up, and he said, Oh, you can't go in there, because the owner's dead. And he's like, since the owner's dead, can't let you in there. And I'm like, what? The only other person's lab who we haven't seen is Rantaro's. So that's Rantaro's lab. But you look at the door, and there's, like, nukes and shit on it. You know, it's covered in, like, what seems to be, like, an apocalyptical scene, right? So it makes me think, it's like, is he? Is he the ultimate evil overlord? Is that really Kokichi's thing? Right? And it's really weird. Because, you know, we all know Kokichi's a liar. He can be lying about his talent. His talent can be like ultimate strategist or some shit. I don't know. Right? But on top of that, what if Kokichi isn't lying about his talent? You know, there's also the rock that words slowly appear to that says, This world is mine, Kokichioma. Right? And I also find it weird that we haven't seen his research lab. Does he even have a research lab? Is it possible that since he might be the evil overlord that his research lab is the entire area itself? And we're just his pawns in some fucking game? I don't know, it's weird. It's so weird. And if that's the case, then what is Rantaro's secret, you know? Is he like the ultimate survivalist or some shit? It's too much. Too much stuff going on, you know? So, let's get into it. Let's get back to what we need to do here in 
the fucked up world of Danganronpa V3. By the way, I feel like I should let it be known, I do have my air conditioner on in the background, so you might hear some things. You might hear some airflow. Just letting you know it's not my mic quality. Well, <laughs> it is my mic quality because it's strong enough to pick up that, right? But, hey. So, we're on what, our third free day? And we need to find out who the fuck we want to hang out with. Also, between last part and this part, I went and did what I said I was going to do. And we picked up ourselves a key of love. It took me about like an hour or two to get this shit. But, you know what? I heard that some wonderful things might happen. So there's a chance, right? So then I thought, hey, why don't I just, you know, do what the guy said and fucking just head to, like, nighttime and just keep reloading it until something happens. Well, guess what? Nothing happened at all, right? My plan was reload it, and then when Monokuma pops up and says, Hey, you want to use this shit? That, uh, I would save it there, and then we would start off from there. But, we can't do that, no matter how many times I try to reload it, and I think the reason for that is because... It's mostly because, well, I say mostly, it's probably because I think Monokuma at this point in time is unavailable. Right? Because last time, last time uh, Kaito showed up and he's all like, guys, guys, listen to me. The time is now. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. <laughs> and he's like, we can't just sit here. We gotta fight Monokuma. But not now, though. I'll get the preparations ready. And then he fucked off, right? So I'm assuming in that, since we're past that moment, that Monokuma is just unavailable at this time, thus not letting the, uh, the Key of Love event proc, right? Not letting that pop up whatsoever, no matter how many times I try it. So who knows? Maybe next chapter, if there is a next chapter, we might be able to use it. Or I might have just fucked myself over and we're not able to use this thing at all, <laughs> right? Until uh, post-game, which really sucks. So in the meantime, we got to find some people to hang out with. Who's left in our roster? Well, we can't hang out with Kaito. He's busy. He's unavailable currently. Kokichi's unavailable, and even if, even if he was, I swear I would not hang out with this guy. <laughs> I did it once, and to be honest, it was underwhelming than what I thought it would actually be. You know? What the hell? My phone's going off. Oh, there we go. Just a little notification. Fucking ultimate supreme leader. I feel like it's a lie. I feel like it's a lie. I don't know. I feel like it's a lie since day one, the moment he said that, I'm like, are you lying? You might be lying. He's probably lying. At this far in the game, it's hard. It's hard to know whether he's lying about his talent or not. Everything else, not that hard. Kibo, we love Kibo here, but I love Kibo in the story. So far, our first time hanging out with Kibo was kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. He was a boring motherfucker. I had some fun with Himiko. Let's see. Seems like a lazy girl, but constantly performs complicated magic tricks. Mm. Discovered that she trained under a great mage to be the ultimate magician. Okay. Maki. Maki. Is now our de facto number one because Mew is dead. <laughs> Before they were... They were fucking competing for the spot. Now there's no competition. One's dead, the other's alive. Maki, if you die, 
if you die. Oh, what the hell? It doesn't say ultimate assassin, it still says child caregiver? That's... that's interesting. It's interesting that it still says that. Okay. Eh. I mean, she killed to take care of the children, so... Could you... could you say that she's wrong for that? And Samugi's alive. Which, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised she made it this far. Um... Samugi, overall, kind of plain character. I know she says it herself, right? She's pretty boring. <laughs> she doesn't do anything in the story. The only thing that she contributes to thus far is... I saw... I saw... I saw a murder going down and I decided not to say anything for like 10 minutes right but um you know actually hanging out with her was pretty fun right so it's easy for me to just say let's go hang out with Maki because I really want to but I think Himiko or Samugi and uh, let's go with Himiko Himiko we've been having some fun with her recently she's pretty cool right She's hanging out in her little lab. Before we go there, do I even have enough coins to, like, buy anything? Since I went to the casino just to get one fucking key. I have 19 coins. Let's do 10 spins. Olive oil? Okay. count how many spins we did. What we started at? We started at 19, right? Okay. Burnus compass. Everywhere parasol. Non-alcoholic drink of immortality. Okay. That's interesting. It's also free. Free of... Free of despair. It's nice that we got something off of that. Alright. Hey Miko, let's hang out with you. I've been having a lot of fun with you recently. You've been you've been pretty cool. Really super surprised she made it this far. I thought she was gonna get fucking Hyoko'd, right? <laughs> Said, what's that over there? Is that another body? <laughs> what? Just hanging out. Her throat slit. It's like, what the fuck? Hey there, Himiko. How you doing? You okay? You alright, Himiko? You scared? That scary Kokichi walking about, creeping about, stalking around? You know? Skulking? Sorry, can you leave me alone for now? Oh. I wanna, I wanna hang out. What should I do? Hang out with Himiko? Himiko, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why do you want to be left alone? I feel sick from eating too much this morning. Aww. Let's go get you some medicine. I spent some time taking care of Himiko. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. <laughs> yeah, because that's the face of growing closer right there. Very entertained. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. I got some magic shit here. You want a monkey's paw? I got that. Hmm, let's see. Sewing kit. Commer uh, com uh, commemorative set. For some reason, it's hard to say that word. Bird food. Who the fuck wants bird food? Wild pigeons can't appreciate the increased quality. Who the fuck would want this? Maybe Gonta? But that's for like... But I would assume Gonta wouldn't like birds because he likes insects. Right? Sports towel. Here's the monkey's paw. Pill of admiration. Uh... Come on, I got some magical shit here, right? 
What do I got to give you? I gotta have like... Oh yeah, I got another broom. Here you go. Take that. Oh, oh this is it. The item I needed. Yeah. Not bad. Please bring me more stuff to increase my magic stat. Aw, oh, happy Himiko. A happy Himiko is a happy me. Mm. Eh. She looks really bothered by something. Hey. Um, Himiko? There's something I wanted to ask you. Yeah? My magic is a trade secret. No. No, that's not it. I was wondering why you became a magician. <laughs> She's like, you really want to know? Do you want to open up that box? The box of Pandora? Are you willing to accept responsibility? Uh, um... Sorry, a mage. <laughs> you said you had a master? Did he inspire you? Hmm. When I saw my master use its magic, I awakened as a mage. Is that alright? Hmm, just making sure, but uh... Did you master... Uh, did you master... Did your master also say he was a mage, not a magician? What are you saying? My master is known around the world as a legendary mage. Hmm. I see. Himiko insists she is a mage. It's, prob it's probably her master's influence. Her master's just like, whatever you do, don't believe their lies. Magic is real. Do you believe in magic? In a young girl's heart? Okay. The first time I saw my master was on the stage during his magic show. The magic he performed was miraculous. Seeing it triggered the magic power sleeping within me to awaken. I'm having like... I'm having like Little Witch Academia flashbacks where she's like in the crowd and she's watching Silver Chariot and she's like, oh, magic, I want to be a witch someday too. But little did she know she was siphoning the magic from all the onlookers. But I didn't yet have the skill to control such powerful magic. Mm. Therefore, I studied under my master to control my own magic. Mm. I see. Because I'm a maid. Fortunately, it only took a few years of training to become a full-fledged mage. Master let me help his show as an assistant while I trained. My master taught me the fundamentals of magic because he trained me. Because he trained- okay, because he trained- it like went off and I was like, what? Because he trained me, people started calling me the ultimate mage. She's actually the ultimate magician, but I probably shouldn't bring that up. How about that? My master learned his magic by studying around the world, you know. Extreme wind magic, levitation, extreme space magic, teleportation, extreme heat magic, sawing a per wait what? Heat. <laughs> meat magic, sawing a person in half, and many more. Extreme meat magic. <laughs> I gotta use that. I gotta use that. That's a line I have to use on my next date, right? Did you know that I was a magician? Would you like to see my extreme meat magic? <laughs> Doesn't sound very magical. Jeez. I don't know, man. Bacon's pretty magical. My master made them all look simple, but they were hard for me to grasp. I want to teach you the basics, but the stars aren't aligned right now, so... Hmm. Uh, I see. That's fine. So, in return, the ultimate mage will answer any question for you. Any question? Hmm. It's not real magic, right? <laughs> That's a saw. You don't do that. That's a bad one. When people get sawed in half, what if a fly gets in your teleportation? You know what? That makes sense. <laughs> what happens? Will you come out the other side as a monster? <laughs> you teleport and you go, kill me. <laughs> That's a reference to the fly movie, right? Dude's making like a a machine to teleport things and like a fly gets in the machine and he comes out as a monster. Um when people get sawed in half. Hey! When people get sawed in half, how do you put them back together? <laughs> She's like, uh you don't. No. It's with magic, you know? Like you activate the cells and well, something like that. You probably wouldn't get it. Okay. Don't feel like it. Hmm. Is that right? But oh, is that right? Okay. In any case, I'm sure your master is worried about you right now. Why the fuck would you say that, Suichi? We're having a good time. Now we are both sad. Bad, Suichi. 
This conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> Bad, Suichi. Something wrong? Himiko's mood changed. You're right. Well, maybe. You might be worried. Hmm. Himiko? What a pain. I'm too tired to talk. I'm going back to my room. Okay. Oh, okay. See you later then. Way to fuck it up, Suichi. What the hell was that about? I watched Himiko walk away and I returned to my room. Himiko was acting strange for a minute there. I wonder what's wrong. Maybe her master's like already dead. And we just don't know it yet. There's still some time. That's true. What should I do? Ah, huh, we can still hang out. With people. So, uh... Who should we hang out with? Just hung out with Himiko? I think she's doing fine. It's either between Maki or Samugi. I'm not hanging out with Kibo. I can't. I don't feel like wasting the time hanging out with Kibo. Especially what happened earlier. He's like, hey, put me between the machine. What happens if I die? <laughs> what happens if I die? I'm a little worried here. You know, you gotta pick who to hang out with, and it may be our last time, our last chance to hang out with the person. And it's between Samugi or Maki. Maki, this might be the last time we get to hang out. You might die! But Samugi's kinda cool to hang out with too, you know? I gotta, I gotta, I'm sorry. I'm going with my heart. I'm going with my heart. Oh yeah. Tonight, huh? What about tonight? I don't know what'll happen, but I'll do what I can. Should I hang out with Maki? Yeah, Maki, let's hang out. Come on, hey. Maki. Let's do some stretches. Okay. Sure, I, I won't say no to that. Especially when you're involved. You'll need it. Of course I'll need it. Yeah, because the fighting. I forgot. <laughs> Instantly forgot. With Maki leading us, we went. We spent some time training. Alright, Maki. I will suck at giving you gifts. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? I have no idea what to give you, Maki. So, I'm just gonna... I think, I think giving her the boba tea was good last time, right? She was thankful for it. She's like, oh, thank you. This is great. I love this. Mm -hmm. And mirror. Dreams come true spell book. Oh, why did I didn't give this to fucking Himika? Oh, God damn it. I knew I had some magic shit. Here's some oolong tea. You're gonna need it, right? Gotta hydrate before the fight. Mm. Hmm. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in this situation. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Alright. Does that mean you, you don't like it? Hmm. I didn't know that assassins were scouted. That's right. It's better if you didn't know. Also, there's no need for you to know. But... Gathering children from orphanages? I couldn't believe it. Hmm. Hmm. Did you want me did you want me to surprise you even more than that? Huh? Huh? Well The orphanage I raised the orphanage I was raised at Wait, what? The orphanage I was raised at was ran for one reason. Well for that reason. Uh, wow. Um, what do you mean? Okay. To raise potential candidates as assassins. What? You don't know? The cult donates to the orphanage as charity. And that's believable, right? The amount of work I put in and, and the amount of charity given. Wait, what? I'm having a hard time reading. Hold up. Let me have a drink of my water. Let's restart this. Restart my brain, right? The amount of work I put in is the amount of charity given. That's how the exchange goes. 
can't read. That's how the exchange goes. Hmm. I see. How much is Maki carrying on her shoulders? Such small shoulders. You okay? You okay, Soichi? He said her shoulders so small and feminine. If I remember correctly, you said you were taken in by a man. Did he raise you? What? Are you asking if he raised me as a, as an assassin? No. No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> you don't need to be so serious. The man scouted me and put me in the training facility. That's. I remember you saying that training was quite harsh. That's true. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. The basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. The physicality... Well, wow, the physicality. They physically beat us to help us withstand torture and taught us how to die when needed. Oh, shit. <laughs> how to die? Because... The only option left when you fail a mission is to die, right? Dying sooner is the nicer way out. It's much better than being tortured alive. That's... So... You were trained to withstand torture? What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? No. No, I think I'll pass. I can't bear to think of what Maki had to go through. Damn, Maki. And you came out this beautiful? How? <laughs> I bet if she takes off her, her top, there's like scars all down her back. Badass scars. Well... What the fuck just happened? My headset just like gave out. Is my headset dead? Let me check this. What the? F I think my headset... I'm not sure if it's dead or if it... Let me see. No, my headset is on. Yeah, my headset is on and it's connected. Now I can't hear shit. What the fuck? Let me see. What if I just... Okay. I'm just messing around with some of the settings real quick. Alright, well, my headset is connected again. I don't I don't know why it just suddenly went off before. Usually there's like usually like there's like a warning or something, right? I know my headset's like fully charged because I charged it today. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know why I just did that. All right. Well. Uh, what the hell did I even? Did I miss something? No. After they tortured us, all I could do after was just stare at the room ceiling. Ugh. They tried to break me during training, but I was still there. They try to drag my dignity and tear it to make me feel empty. But even then, I found myself. And then they would do it all over again. <sighs> it wouldn't have been strange if I broke during all the torture. But even so, I tried my best. I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I couldn't do it. But most importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. That girl. Huh? That girl. Sorry. Sorry. Pretend you didn't hear any of that just now. But. But. What? What? <laughs> what? Shut up. It's fine. Just pretend. Okay. All right. All right. I got it. Now I gotta finish Maki's thing, right? If she survives, this. If she survives this fucking chapter. 
I have to complete this now. She has piqued my interest. Reeling from Maki's incredible story, I return to my room. Okay. Monokuma's gone. That's not a good sign. What are you up to, Monokuma? What you planning? Monokuma isn't here. What was that? No. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone's already gathered there. Can I fast travel there? Or are they gonna tell me no? Uh, Samugi's hanging out. Maybe I'll go talk to Samugi. See what the hell she knows. Where you at, girl? Samugi, what the fuck's going on? Shuichi. Oh, Suichi, you headed to the gym? Okay. Yeah. Hey. I remember hearing Mew getting all worked up about it, but in Kibo's research lab, there's a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If we use those, if he used those, we wouldn't have to depend so much on Maki in fights. Well. That's true, but. Kibo said that he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so... Well, guess what? Kibo doesn't have a fucking choice. We're gonna die, make him a mech, make him a super mecha. But in this situation, maybe he should just get over that already. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. One man's mo... Wait, what? One man's mo is another man's trap. Wait, what? Wait, is that how it goes? I don't... You okay? Are you having a stroke? Am I having a stroke? Well, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go head on. Okay. Alright, you do that. I'll head to the gym as well. Gym is this way, right? Maybe I'll run into someone else on the way. Uh, nope. Gym is not this way. It's the other way. No, it's not. Where the fuck? Where the fuck am I going? Hold up, map. Help me out here. Oh, so it is that way. All right. I saw fucking Himiko's room on the map, and every time I see that, I'm just like, that's a dead end. It's over here. All right. I guess everyone is at the fucking gym. No one's, like, hiding out here at night. Just Samugi. Okay. Alright! Alright, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Ugh. Are those weapons? You think we're gonna fight Monokuma with a fucking chainsaw and axe? Is there, like, a gun in there at least? What is that, like a rocket launcher? A spear? A hatchet? Oh, yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Got it. Yep, that's right. Hey guys! Anyways, let's get started. You guys better be ready. <gasps> you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No. I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. <sighs> ready to fight and win? Yeah. Yeah. We challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. But this time we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're gonna beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> right on time, huh, Kokichi? What a quinky dink. I was planning on ending the killing game too. Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a spun on a dime. And saw him standing before us. Kokichi! Where'd you get that? You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. You little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. I'm having flashbacks to Komaeda. 
where he just sets off a bomb and he's like, fuck it, let's kill everyone. Is that a bomb? Uh, the bomb? Yep, it's exactly that. Hey, Mongo. Which means... Hope everything's going well for you today. If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. All right, Kokichi. Name your price. So? Wait, what was I going to tell you? Don't lie! You're the one who said it. You little... You? What are you going to do with that bomb? Ah. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you my purpose. See? You know how it says in the rules that the killing game will continue until there's only two left? But... But it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? Huh? What? Well, you know... So, here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. <laughs> Die, Kokichi. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. It can't be. It can't be. You. What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with the bomb? Are you serious? Then the way you were going to end this killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. No one raised their hand. Don't do it. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. Who'd ever agree to that plan? I... Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. Why, you? I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? I also want to survive with someone who do such thing. Wait. I also don't want to survive with someone who would do such thing to Gonta. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. <laughs> Just right off the bat, she's like, oh, yeah. Is that all right? Kokichi, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. Wow, that's a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So, let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Talking about those hammers? Yeah. I knew you guys would be like this. Now I can definitely entrust the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons to you guys. Is he talking about the hammers? Hammer on a dolly. Could it be the ultimate anti monokuma weapons? You talking about the hammers? Cut it out. Cut it out. There's no reason to listen to him, guys. Come on. At least hear me out. This is all Muse. Uh, this is also Muse Memento. Yeah. Muse Memento. Yeah. Yeah. They're called electro hammers, and there's something I actually need to invent. How exciting! They're a pretty incredible invention that displays, displays, that disables any electronic machine on contact. Huh? Disables electronic machines? <laughs> I bet that includes Kibo too. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? What? Helpful against Monokuma? Hold up! How did you know we were gonna fight Mono- ah. Oh, well I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discuss it. You know? I had a feeling that Kokichi was just like behind the counter, crouched over, just laughing to himself like a fucking child. The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But... But I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's why I went in this killing game. And that's why I asked Mew to make this. To defeat Monokuma and, Mono and the Monocubs. Stop it. Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game the whole time. Always messing around. Is that really something you made? Aren't you lying about that too? I'm disappointed. Uh, you're gonna doubt that too? <gasps> of course. Have you forgotten everything you've done to us, Tomo? Yeah. 
Yeah, I forgot. How do you expect us to believe that? Because... This doesn't make sense. If Mew made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Hmm. Yeah. If there were weapons to fight against Monokuma, we should have all fought together. This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault. Oh, man. I told Mew too, you know? Around the time I asked her to invent this, I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... What a pain in the ass. Why do I gotta make this again? Well, you know. Quit complaining. This is all an unfuckable, ugly bitch like you was good for. Oh, God. That made me feel bad. What? Huh. Okay. But... But this is so exciting. When this is done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Yeah. Don't be stupid. If you're gonna do it, do it yourself. Hmm? Hmm? Um. It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will betray us. Betray us and kill one of us. Besides, this weapons won't make a difference. We'll be killed by an Exocell before we can use it. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him, and I can't afford to die here anyways. Listen up! Not when I still need to invent something that's gonna change the world. So if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with me! But if it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything. Anything to thank you. Someone will betray us. That's what she said. Well, the Exocells were... Uh, well... Oh God, I can't read. Well, the Exocells were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but... She was afraid to trust you guys. She trusted me. <laughs> she at least trusted me. If she didn't, she wouldn't give me all those awesome toys. The fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. Damn. That idiot. Well, you know. But you guys are different. You guys wouldn't lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? You showed your determination to fight together. But you ignored my advice from earlier. N no. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around! Quit screwing around. What are you saying? You probably just lied about talking to Mew. Ah. Oh, by the way, the electro the electro hammers weren't the only thing they made. <laughs> she made this thing too. What? That bomb? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though. Even it uh, even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. Um... For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activity too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. My bad. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Please wait! Settle? We have no intention of using such stupid looking hammers. I'm getting kind of a feeling that Kibo might die. <laughs> Quote unquote die. Right? He might just be deactivated and then reactivated. But. Are you sure? Why'd I. I had like a lisp there for a reason. Are you sure? You can use these electro hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through the underground tunnel. Huh? The underground tunnel. See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Oh, you finally starting to believe me. But But be careful. Electro hammers run out of battery pretty quick. So if you use it against an Exocell, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge. So watch out for that. Mm. Anyways. I'm done explaining, so I'll hand the electro hammers over. Well, you know. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Huh? Won't interfere. See? I'll be looking from a distance, or something like that. You don't want me around, anyways. No. Wait, before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was that writing in the courtyard? 
If I remember correctly. Oh, I thought he was gonna say the line himself. All right. That message that Gonta found. This world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? And if you did, why? Hmm? What's that? I got no idea. Don't lie! Don't play dumb. Your name's on it. You gotten you gotta be the one who did it. But But I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect me uh, suspect that I'm the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind? Because Yeah. This world is mine, Kokichioma. Would make me What if it's an anagram? would make it seem like I'm the mastermind. Ah. Oh, I know. This is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry. I truly want to end this killing. Suddenly, a dark shadow slid between us, quick as a flash. Maki? Maki? That better not be- Oh, God. <laughs> Maki, stop. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game, that's all! If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Maki, it's not a good idea. Don't think, think this through. Maki, roll, cut it out! You'll get killed if you don't! I told you, we can't play this killing game! That's just what Monokuma wants! Maki let go, and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. Jeez, you're such a meanie. How could you do something like that to a friend? What? A friend? As if. You guys may not think that way, but I see you all as my friends. That's why I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Terminator, motherfucker. I won't interfere anymore. So please, continue to walk the path you believe in. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. He left behind the electro hammers. Hmm. What should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They gotta be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something Mew made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. Ah. But you know, it's not. If it's not a lie, then it is. Then it isn't. Ah, oh God, can't read no more. Then isn't this our only chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. If we use the electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. So why don't we try it? What is it? You mean? actually do what Kokichi suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But are you really gonna believe Kokichi? But you know... Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's a chance we can do it, then we should take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? Time? Uh, okay. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like, he's gonna get in our way soon. Hmm. True. This is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey, so... So let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. You're right. If we can escape, we'll find the secret of the outside world for ourselves. I see. We do not know if, if that's a lie or the truth. The secret of the outside world. The despair Gonta mentioned. Was that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. You're right. We have to try. All right. Yeah, that's all we got. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyways. We must do it. Either way, we should at least try so we won't have any regrets. What should we do? What do you want to do, Maki? That punk. If that hammer's a trap, then I'll really kill that. <laughs> all right, Maki. I believe you. Come on, man. You can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm just gonna beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. I see. Everyone else is gonna do it. I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Got it. 
Yeah, right on. However, I'm so concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown he hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. That's the only thing I can do. Let's keep moving forward. Alright! All right, let's get going. We're gonna escape from that underground passage for sure this time. Kaito gave a triumphant shout, and we all grabbed our electro hammers. Is Kibo allowed to grab one? Wouldn't he just, like, turn off the moment he picked it up? Yes. Yes, let's go. Mm. I'll be cheering for you. That's not it. Himiko, you need to come too. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I was confused because it looked straight at Maki afterwards, and I was like, wait, what? We left the gym in high spirits. All right. I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Alright. Well, that's an interesting development. I still don't believe Kokichi, but okay. I believe the hammers work. I don't believe that Kokichi wants to help. And wouldn't he take one for himself? Well, he does have the uh, the grenades, right? So I bet he feels safe. And they only affect electromagnetic things, right? Hi, Miru. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Everything was easy for you. Uh, the underground passage is this way. All the fucked way back here. God, my fucking... <laughs> my goddamn arms are killing me. And by arms, I mean like my triceps. They feel like they're about to fucking explode. Jesus. <laughs> Just sad that your kin died. Oh, You're sad. I'm sad. It fucking, uh... Oh, where the hell is this lead? What? Wait, what? If that's the underground, then where the hell does this lead? Huh, I never noticed that. You scared, Kibo? What's going on? Um... Who I kin for? Oh no, I'm just talking about fucking, uh, Mew. <laughs> She's dead. She was, she was my top two, right? Her and Maki. And now there's no competition anymore. Maki's de facto number one. Kiba, what's wrong? You're not gonna head downstairs? Shuichi! Suichi, I have a favor to ask you. This hammer disables electric magnetic machines, right? Could it be... Are you concerned that it will disable you? Well, of course! Well, of course I am! The outcome will settle once and for all how Mew, perce how Mew perceived me. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea. To... What the fu- Are you okay, Kibo? What's going on? Right? Because we saw the Crusher last time, and he's all like, I need to test if I'm a human. <laughs> I'm gonna... K K Suichi, will you crush me? And it's like, I don't want to do that, but for some reason, Suichi was like, okay, why not? He almost died then. Now he's all like, hit me with the electro hammer. Do it. Hit me in the chest. Hit me as hard as you can. I don't think it's a good idea to test that. Remember the hydraulic press? Besides, it's supposed to be use... It's supposed to use a lot of energy. You shouldn't waste it. I see. A waste, huh? I see. It would be a waste. Yeah, we shouldn't be wasteful. So robots pout too. Do robots count electronic street? Read that book. And then have a fucking life crisis afterwards. All right. All right. Let's get started. What should we do? Are we really gonna be okay? Mm. What are you afraid of? Of course it's gonna be okay, right? Actually... You seem anxious too, Himiko. Huh. 
Hey, there's no need to worry. Of course it's gonna be a little dangerous, but... Don't worry about it. We've all got these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be alright. Ah! Those words. Yeah. Yeah. We can finally fulfill Kaede's wish. So, let's all work together to escape this place. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, why don't we all stay friends? That's right. Yes, we made a promise together. That's right. Our promise to work together to get out of here and become friends. I see. Now it's time to fulfill that promise. Hmm. I'll cheer for you guys. I told you. You need to do it too. That's right. That's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kaede. I will never give up. I can't give up. Let's go risk our lives, guys! I've come this far. I got no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Mew invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe that. I keep repeating that to myself as I step into the tunnel. With Mew's legacy. So... Are we really going to do this? Alright. So do I just like... How do I use the hammer? Alright. Oh, they're bombs! I forgot! I forgot they're not coins! Yeah! Fuck! Uh... Out of the way, bitch. Is that disabled? Fuck! I thought it was disabled! Time to do my best! Fuck! Ah! Oh, there's bombs! Oh shit! Oh no, 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 Fuck. Why the fuck are all you guys back there? <laughs> I'm like fucking Mario out here. It's like playing Donkey Kong, just grab the hammer and just go for it. Fuck out the way! I'm unstoppable. You can't stop me. Finally, we made our way out of the tunnel. It was so long, we thought there was no end. But there was an end indeed. Indeed, indubitably. And in the end, there was... Another wall! Huh? Is this the exit? That's right. It seems like it. Look there. Oh my! Oh, it's a door! On the other side of that door. Got it. Yeah, it's probably the outside world. Yeah. We did it! We finally can escape. No. Now get your hopes up. We need to know if this is actually the outside world. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. We don't know what the outside world looks like now. Huh. Yeah, it's fine. Monokuma was probably just lying. The skies over the a academy are normal, so the meteorites are probably gone. They might just be, like, projections. Everything's fine out there. Um... Anyways, let's open the door. We'll have plenty of time to talk afterwards. Mm -hmm. 
and looks similar to the elect uh, looks similar to the electric barrier in front of the exocell hangar. Unless we disable that, we won't be able to open the door. All right. Let's look around. Got some knobs and shit over here. Panel. Nothing to really look at besides the panel. Could it be? And this is a control panel for the barrier. If it's like the one the XL in the XSL hangar, you should be able to disable the barrier with a passcode. Yeah. A password? Does anyone know it? Huh. Eh, we don't need that. Yeah. If it's electronic, we just gotta destroy it with these hammers. Don't do that. The door might stay closed. Okay. It seems this lock is controlled electronically, so we can just use the electro hammers to open it. All right. All right. Let's destroy this control panel with the hammers and open this big dumb gate. Then everything will be over. We can say goodbye to this academy and this killing game. That's true. Finally, this death game is going to end. Yeah. Yes. At least we can return to our normal lives normal lives. Beyond this door is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home to those normal lives. The secret of the outside world is going to be that awful, right? Let's go! Let's go. It's finally time to graduate from this Academy of Lies. With that, Kaito swung the electro hammer and... Ah! Smashed it down into the control panel. Lock disabled. Ah. Yeah, the door's unlocked. All right. Now we just gotta open up this gate. Let's all work together. Yes. Yes, we can do it. Right, right. Finally, finally we can get out. We all ran to the door, and with our own hands, with our own strength, we opened that door. Our door to the future. The future of hope. And despair. Yep, I expected it. So is the atmosphere fucked up too? Like in the first game? What is this? What's going on? What is this? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The door is now locked. Barely conscious, we heard a sound in our heads. What? What happened? Congrats! You finished the killing game! Kokichi? Hey! Are you okay? <laughs> Get it together. It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know? See? Your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? What? Humanity? <laughs> well then, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. I shook my head, dizzy. The ground spun under me, but I managed to get to my feet. And at the same time... What was that just now? What's going on? On the other side of that door was... Damn. Where even are we? What in the world's going on? Good morning, everyone. How are you guys feeling? Terrible? <laughs> of course you guys are. Because now you know the truth of the outside world. Huh? The truth of the outside world? <laughs> you saw it, right? The outside world you guys so desperately longed for doesn't exist. 
What are you talking about? What do you mean it doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? Okay. Everything began when that disaster came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! Hold on. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez. You better not interrupt me again, or I'm not going to tell you anything. Got that? <laughs> but, um... Kibo, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing on where we left off... The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race, so they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end, so that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. I can't believe that it's only 16, though. I assume there would be, you know, other ultimates somewhere around the world, like multiple, um, multiple attempts at the Gopher Project, right? Unless the ultimate hunt caught them beforehand. Somehow. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students. But the 16 students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. Oh. Oh, shit. So the ultimate hunt wasn't to kill them because they were the ones going. It was to force them because they were the ones going. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents to become normal students. <laughs> but it was around that time a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. Okay. So I guess they just didn't know that that the ultimates erased their, you know, erased their, um, their memories. So they were going after them to kill them. Okay. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. The Ark's launch succeeded. Despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth, the 16 Ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! And that Ark is the true identity of this Academy. So it is Soma, but besides it not being all digital, Okay. All right. Huh. Nice to know that one of my theories were uh was out there enough, right? You know, why would they preserve these people because they all had talents? Huh? What? The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? 
This whole academy? It's one giant spaceship colony? What are you saying? What? You really think I'll believe that? <laughs> well, hold on now. The story isn't done yet. By the way, don't you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark? Humanity's last hope. Which means... Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. That one of the people who were in the cult to do the ultimate hunt was part of the Gopher Project. A horrible person hiding amongst the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? What? How exciting! It was the leader of the cult organization trying to crush the Gopher Project. And they hid amongst the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on this ship. Yeah. Yep, that robot is Managuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed into a state of cold sleep. And we and we're only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Hmm. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they are now here. Hold up! If we return to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth, after a few hundred years, while we were in cold sleep. An Earth destroyed by meteorites, without oxygen or living creatures. Okay, so I'm hearing you, Kokichi. I'm hearing what you're saying. I'm believing it. Saw it for myself, right? But I'm still a little confused. I heard Danganronpa V3, you know, before it came out. Danganronpa V3 had nothing to do with the other Danganronpa games. That it was its own thing. Right? But is it really, though? Could this be its own continuity? Like a soft reboot? Well, not even a soft reboot. This is a hard reboot because the Earth is destroyed. And if that's the case, then... Why don't they just do the same thing they did with... The first thing in Rampa, because even at the end of that one, they were like, yeah, the oxygen on Earth is like unbreathable or some shit. But, you know, they managed to fucking survive. <laughs> An Earth without any cities or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means. This is no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. What? Doesn't exist? Yeah. The Earth and humans have died out ages ago. Except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Okay. Well, Maki, guess we gotta get to business. <laughs> ah. Well, last seven survivors of humanity. It's a lie! It's a lie? It's definitely a lie. Man. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know. So that means... Anyways, I gotta confess. You know that call I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? Huh? Anyway... Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... <laughs> me! But how... Kokichi? You're the mastermind? I don't believe it. Well, you know. I didn't want to just crush the Gopher Project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with the plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? What? What? You? It's a lie. It's a lie. It's got to be a lie. Ah. Oh. You want you want me to lie now? But you guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> I'll show you the infutable evidence that I'm the mastermind. Kokichi took what looked to be a remote controlled out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols? What's going on? 
I thought only the Mono Cubs could control the Exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Then... So, you really are the mastermind. Maki, just calm down. Alright? I know what you're planning. Don't do it. Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start. But for you to be the mastermind... Oh, man. You look like you don't believe me, Suichi. Because I don't. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you a huge hint. But you still didn't get it. How boring. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see what you guys would... Uh, when you guys would figure it out. What is it? Hint? You left that message for us? Maybe. But I guess that precious hint went to waste. All because you bastards trusted each other. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I told you. You guys should have doubted each other more. You guys should have realized I was the mastermind earlier and then could have been less victims. Wait, what? Oh, and then there could have been less victims. I skipped a whole word. <laughs> Actually, Kaede had the right idea to try to try and kill the mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad, though. If only she had killed me, then the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth to the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone... Wait, what? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know? Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? Were you just being were we just being led around by you this whole time? You mad? Oh, you mad? So, what are you going to do about it? Shut up. Shut up. Of course I'm mad. Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the exocells on your side. Cuz we got the electro hammers. <laughs> What? What happened? Wow. Oh, typical Kaito. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? The electro hammer. At that moment, his electro hammer powered down, and not just Kaito's. Every electro hammer powered down. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that the battery runs out pretty quickly. But. But. That lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. Did you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaito. Your tiny brain's just too different from mine. Please don't. Don't glare at me like that. Punching me wouldn't solve anything either, you know? You can't resurrect the dead, and you can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? Right. Always messing around. Even if that's the case. Don't screw around! I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito! Kaito, wait! I tried to stop Kaito before he ran off, but... I couldn't grab him in time. <laughs> Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! Oh, Maki, please. But Maki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaito charged at the Exocell. It was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exocell's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry. He's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me. The Mastermind. <laughs> These Exocells were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Oh shit. Maki, listen. Hi. Maki, hello. Maki, hi. Don't do anything you're gonna regret. Give Kaito. Huh? Maki? Give it back. Give back Kaito. Her eyes screamed mur- her eyes screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved toward him. Maki! No, Maki, even if you- Do you wanna die? Let go. Do you wanna die? Uh. Maki! It's no use. I won't let you go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. 
Please, Maki. Shuichi! Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Suichi. But... But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. <laughs> they're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Uh... Ending? What did you say? This is the ending. Then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed, then we're the last human beings left. <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? How about doing anything you want? Yeah. Well, you know. You know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now. So, I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see utter despair on your faces. Yeah. Yeppers, I'm totally satisfied now. So you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait. Hold on. You're the one that started all this? That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that, too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... So anyways, the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. Maki, stop. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Ah. Oh, I just want him to chill out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Anyway, Suichi, can I have the Exocella Hangar's alarm remote back? Huh? What? See? I was thinking that'd be perfect place to keep Kaito in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Suichi. Suichi! Hand it over, Suichi. You bastard! Don't give it to him. Well, you know. You know what will happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. Sorry, Maki. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks. Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then, he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us, and left. He left us there with the truth, the truth of our despair. Hey, Maki. Uh, um... Maki. Coward. Uh, okay. I know. But... I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. Uh, are you okay? Himiko, are you okay? Me? I'm okay. How could I be okay? The outside world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Everyone at the school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. Uh, um... Calm down, Himiko. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Well, 
Which means... The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship. And we're the 16 survivors of humanity. Unfortunately... This killing game would have been playing. Wait, what? Would have been? <laughs> this killing game we've been playing. Why pit the, rem the remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? <laughs> and the mastermind who engineered all this and is forcing us to participate is Kokichi? Oh no! I can't. My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. Sumugi, are you alright? She's got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. And this is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left. Trying to get outside was pointless. We played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Uh, Nonsense. So, what did all the others die for then? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the despair that Gonta felt. So much despair you want to die. It really is just like that. It really do be like that sometimes. If it's like this, it would have been better to die a lot earlier. <laughs> then it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death. No more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... We all should have just died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my body in the bed. Numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair. But the sleep came anyways. Did you know that when you talk to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is converted to a synthic to a uh, to a synthic sound while you're both communicating. I gotta have a drink of my water. I'm dying currently. My mouth is dry. I'm having a hard time reading. I'm dying. <laughs> Everything that can go bad, it's going bad. I'm just making sure the stream is still up. <laughs> All right. Their voice is converted to synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone resembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data. Wait, what? This reduces the amount of voice data that's needed to be sent to make this call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavor syrup such as strawberry, melon, and melon, and melon, <laughs> melon and melon, melon and lemon. They're all the same flavor. Their only difference is the aroma and the food coloring dye. Do you think these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? No, they're truth. What would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be a very lonesome world. Lies are what make the world go round. God, my arms are like exploding. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point to, mo to the morning announcements now. So, it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. 
There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Why did it play twice? Oh, it's nighttime already. I just, I just fucking sat there. I wonder what Kaito's doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito's okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working, and my body. Okay. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning, it just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I couldn't be happier. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Thank you for your money. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up. Or I might not ever get up again. I... I don't care. If I... just kill my... Huh? What? My body reacted... My bi uh, My body reacted reflectively. And I heard the door bell. Ah! Oh. Huh. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to the door. Uh, um... Who could it be? On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... <sighs> you look terrible. Uh, um... M Mach oh shit, you do look terrible. <laughs> I look fucking grody. Maki, the hot topic has finally tucked me over. I have nothing to live for. You want to watch Nightmare Before Christmas? For the 50th time today? Uh... Hey. Go take a shower or something. Anything to help your face. Anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone's waiting in the dining hall. Uh, um... I guess I should go. She said, take a fucking shower, you stank. <laughs> I hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. Alright. Let's see. Doop, 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 doop. Just want to check the stream real quick. Doop, boop, boop, doop, 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 doop. So, I have a question. What the fuck was the point of the XSLs, like, moving around, though? Like, moving shit around. Mowing the grass. And if the killing game's over, can we go to Rontaro's room? Everyone was in the dining hall besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. <sighs> Everyone here looks like shit. <sighs> really? Even I look terrible? 
Well, your face always looks like that. What are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? What? I want to go out so... I don't I want to go out. Uh, fuck. I want to go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Okay. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. It's a flashback light. Um, Maki, why do you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there? Mm. Kukichi you probably just put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps. If we use the flashback light, we may recover memories that... that collaborate his story. Mm. We were supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth, Kukichi told us. <gasps> we don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die? Comfortably? I can help you, but... We should check the flashback light first. Huh? What? Uh. Why do we have to do that? Because... It's the only thing we can do now. If we're gonna die, then we might as well do anything we can. We got no regret... Regrets? <laughs> regrets? Why am I saying that? We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And, even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So, let's do what we can. <sighs> well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. <sighs> so, when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. Then it's decided. Kibo, Suichi, you're fine with that. <sighs> yes, very well then. Okay. Uh, yeah. And thus, it was decided. Barely painless, painlessly, a flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious than suspicious. But, because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyways. Hey. Okay, I'm turning it on. Maki switched on the flashback light. At that moment. The world flipped upside down, turned inside out. That's it. I remember. Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. It's home speak, baby! It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. And the event that tore that school apart changed the world. So it does connect to the other Danganronpas. Okay, that was my one question. I'm like, I heard this takes place not part of the other Danganronpas, but what's going on here? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. Ultimate Despair, Junko Inoshima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope Speak Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. But after Junko Inoshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done sowing chaos. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible. Okay, so wait. 
So, Danganronpa 3 was the ending for them, and then they're just like, fucking, I don't know, 20 years later or some shit. Really? I thought it would tie more, right? There would be more involved in it. But okay. Nice to know that it's in the same universe, though. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteors fell upon the world, carrying the unknown virus. Unknown virus. Embodied by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, humanity deserves damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makoto Nayagi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project, Hope Speak Academy. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape the Earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was like the last. And that, they accepted applicants for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students from Hope's Peak Academy. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No. We weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. The entire world was on the brink of, ex of extinction. Ooh, this is hitting too hard. <laughs> this game came out in 2017. And then two years later, fucking Corona happened. <laughs> Not even two years later. Was it two? Yeah, two years. 18, 19, right? <laughs> Corona. Damn, dang and Rampa. What the fuck? <laughs> the entire world was on the brink of extinction. From a virus. Holy shit. <laughs> Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. We, uh, but we just happened to be immune to the virus. What? How? Wait, how? That was the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. I finally remembered. Oh my god! That world, this world, it's all connected. That's it! Everyone, do you all remember? Yes. Yes, I can vividly recall everything now. I guess. Yeah? Why? How? How can we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope Peaks Academy. Mm. We were the symbols of hope, and trusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. That punk. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. Were the remnants of despair. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Hmm. It's so obvious. A killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Okay, but where does Rentaro come into this? It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means 
which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mir that, uh, that mares hope and the dark despair. Got a minute? Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? Uh... That's also something that Remnants of Despair would do. They admire Junko Inishima, right? He made an elaborate plan to he made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined? That's the ultimate despair for you. Hey! What's going on, Maki? So what? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. It's okay. Yeah, even if that's the case, I mean you had you had successors to Junko before, right? And, you know, some of them weren't to some of them didn't really carry out her will. 100%. They all had their own motives. But when it came to Junko, she wasn't doing it for pleasure. She just did it because that's what she was. At least that's how she put it in her own words. So whether she cared about it or not, she still did it. It's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay. Are you sure? What? We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Yeah. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone! No, we just need to overcome that hope. Overcome? We just need to become that hope. What's wrong? Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? Kibo, please tell me that you were modeled after Makoto. <laughs> if I must. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope Peace Academy, aren't we? If we're all if we're all that's left of the sixteen who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope, we still, uh, we have that uh, gone. If we gave up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. Your inner voice is Makoto. That no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what's urging me, that's what it's urging me to do. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Even if, only, even if it's only a little, we'll move forward towards hope. Uh, okay. Kibo. Listen closely. Right now, there's no use to thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. And that's what I believe hope is. I see. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new Hope Speak Academy. We built as a symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Hope Speak Academy, give up, the world really will be plunged into despair. You're right! I've got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm gonna live to the end and never give up. Mm. You won't be able to do anything if, if that destroy. Uh, you won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Hmm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. You guys. You're right. You're right. Let's do it. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. Yes. As long as we still, as long as we stand together without giving into despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in the academy. Wait, what? Born in this academy, a tree of life with roots deep down. It was supporting each and every one of us. Yeah. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope. Uh. With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> the Gucci may have left the flashback light to give to make us give up. But if that's what his if that was his plan, it failed. It's true. It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey! And so, what are what's our plan now? What are we gonna do about Kokichi? That's right. We gotta stop you know who, the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito too. You're right! Yeah, of course. You're right. He's so stupidly positive. He's just that kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. Kaito by our side encouraging us, 
then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find new hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I know that, and even in a situation like this, you think of something. The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaito? It's okay. They're in the Exocell hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped in there, but... Okay. By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leave the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? By chance? Really? Right, right? I bet the truth is you were worried about Kaito and were watching the hangar all day. <laughs> she wasn't worried about... I wasn't worried about Kaito. Looks like that was the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. I just had nothing else to do. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. We were just getting mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. We know that there's an extra cell hanger, but how do we get in them? By the way, the hangar has an alarm setting setting has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote to shut off the alarm system. And there's also an electric barrier, right? We'll need to do something about that too. Yes. Yes. But even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm too. So many problems right from the start. But what should we do? It's okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Well, spit it out, girl. Uh, um. How do you plan to get past the alarm system and barrier? Okay. With the electro hammer. Well. If you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock on the exit to the outside world. But. But it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can get close enough to use the electric hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Oh. Huh? Is that? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though. Even it's called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with elect electromagnetic waves for two hours. Any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So, I need to use them carefully. You guys will have this have to settle for the electro hammers. What? Why do we ha why do you have that, Maki? There were only three and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> I stole it from his back pocket. Okay. During that time. Yeah! As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. I love you, Maki. <laughs> the terrifying glare part was a joke. So can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We need that uh, we can use the electro bombs to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, we can disable all communication. Okay. That should include the remote control Kokichi uses for the exocells. 100%. If we use the electro bombs in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> and Kokichi will be will be a good good as butt naked. <laughs> will be as good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. No. But he might still be able to control an exocell from inside. Oh my. Butt naked? No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. I see. Then we should bring the electro hammers as precaution against the exosome. Mm -hmm. Dang, I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry. Sorry, but I did too. Hmm. Takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? We're gonna wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Uh... We don't really have a choice, do we? Without the hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Maki. I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more that, than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone's ready. That's true. Fine. That's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? 
Wait! No, Monkey, he can't, even if he's the remnant of despair. That doesn't that punk. But if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No. But you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we feel bad after we kill them. Don't! It would be more... It would be... It would be no different than the killing game. That has caused us so much suffering. Yeah! Yeah. That sort of thing... That's the sort of thing that Remnants of Despair or Kira would do. Really? We're going for the death note? Okay. But Kaito said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. She's like, what do you mean I can't kill him? <laughs> I want to strangle him. Okay, okay. Fine, if everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well... But, if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Oh. Wow, Maki's actually reliable. No. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. Hmm. If a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at a prey. Well... Uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. But it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks... It's all thanks to Maki. While we were sedentary... While we were sanitary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. And I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. Of course, if I pointed that out, she asked me if I wanted to die again. Got a minute? What are you looking at? My future wife? Sorry. Uh, sorry. Hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Okay. Yeah, right. He's like, yeah. <laughs> we finalized our plans to get into the XSL hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we should wait for the ele for the hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focused, and determined. Something's All right. Okay, first, we need to charge the hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Suichi. But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. No, it's not true. There has to be something I can do. All right. right, I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. I'm worried about Kaito. He's hurt, and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Uh, okay. All right, I'll go. Damn, there's a lot going on. Jesus, fuck. Ugh, I had to yawn there. A big ol' yawn. I'm also gonna check my phone real quick. Alright, cool. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now, before we, uh, scope out the area for the plan, I'm going to use the bathroom. So, we'll take a quick break, and I'll be back in a little bit.
All right. We are back with more Dangaron Pow V3. Just double check on my dogs, make sure they're doing fine. All right. <clears throat> Get the microphone in the correct position. And let us, uh, what the hell are we going to do? I think we're checking on the site of our plan. That's going to go down. Head on over to the hangar. Oh, who the hell's over here? Oh, Himiko and, uh... Who the hell's over there? Is that Samugi? That's Samugi. Read to him, Himiko. You thinking about Tenko? Yeah. I got so much motivation now. I can't wait till the little hammers are recharged. Well. Calm down, Himiko. If you expend all your energy now, you won't be you won't have any when we really need it. Yeah. I see. That's true too. But who would have imagined that we're the last hope of humanity and this was a spaceship? I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. That's not right. Are they really gonna throw away the whole magic theme just like that? Uh um Uh was there a magic theme in the first place? Interesting. What about you, Samugi? Could it be? Did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Okay. Yeah. I guess. I was the same. I couldn't stay still. Um. This morning, I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki, who was so tsundere in the beginning, is now the one pulling us along. But it's probably because of Kaito's influence. Huh? Huh? Why do you think that? Um... Huh? Why? You can tell just by looking. Maki's interested in Kaito. No! He... No! <laughs> what about me? Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Yeah, I suppose that's true. <laughs> I want Maki to love me, but it's so obvious that she cares so much about Kaito. Huh? Are you shocked? Are you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Yeah. Listen, she just asked me a weird question. She said, you like Kaede? And I'm like, what? Uh, um... No, it's not like that at all. Yeah. Wow, I didn't mean to shock you like that. <laughs> I just meant to mock you about Maki. Oh, thanks for the follow. Aesthetic? Aesthetic Nat? Is that how I pronounce that? <laughs> Thank you. It's appreciated. Greatly appreciated. Um... I wonder. When we were at Hope Speak Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. Well, we were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends like that. But... Even if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. I'm gonna keep living with confidence till the end. Um, That's my vow as one of the last students of Hoax Peak Academy. Huh? Well, congrats to you, Samugi. I guess I'll have to settle for you or Himiko if Maki doesn't accept my love. I guess I'll just have to settle. If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi's in the hangar, there's a good chance that the XSLs are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Uh, way to make me fucking worry. I'm gonna save the game just in case something fucky happens. I hear, already hear one of the XSLs, so this is why there's like big open areas around here. Really? All four of them are just walking in a circle? <laughs> okay. Huh? Wait, Monokuma? Huh? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exocells protecting him? But why now? Why all four of them? Kokichi's controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, 
The exocells are here. They aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. Time to get the fuck out of here. Carefully, my ass, take on full sprint. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier's up, too. I can't get too close to the shutter. And I only saw four XSLs. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Oh, really? There's a window over here? Oh, God! <laughs> that is small! That's pathetic. That's sad. That's depressing. There's a small window. The bathroom window. Can I see inside from there? I peeked into the small window and saw a silhouette on the other side. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Shut up! Kaido, quiet! Kaito! Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Uh, is he close by? No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? I'm gonna fucking bust you out. What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. It's because she likes you, Kaito, and she doesn't like me. So you better fucking appreciate it, you piece of shit. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the star. Don't shout, dumbass. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. Stop screaming. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Bro, you're so loud. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say it. Don't worry. Be okay. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an electro hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. You're damn right you do. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. You're an impressive detective. Through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Just like Batman, don't forget you're never alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your friends? And that's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi! Yeah, I got it, Kaito. Thanks, man. Thanks for being my friend. Yes, I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. I bet Kokichi probably has, like, his ear pressed up against the door, going like, I heard fucking everything. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I returned to my room. The damn right I did. With gusto. Hmm... There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I try to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle. While I was meditating on it... Meditating? It became nighttime before I knew it. Uh, um... We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. 
Kaito has taught me. All right. I have to do it. To live, to find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with the thought nestled deep into my heart. There's a lot of fucking Monokuma theaters happening. Don't panic. Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma teaser segment, teaser? Theater segment, it's already too late. You kids might not know, but to be 100% 100, 100 cotton mascot like me, hope is, well, the thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive, watching their hopes fade away. There's nothing more despair-inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. I've done did it. It has been done. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. All right. All right, here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Fell flat on my face. Had toast in my mouth. Bumped into Maki. All right. To the dining hall, just got a sidestep over there. There we go. Take it on full sprint. Where the fuck are you guys? Okay. <laughs> We're all here. Everyone! Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course. My hammer's all recharged. My Pico Pico hammer. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have the electro hammer. What happened, Maki? Hmm. Maki, where's your hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use weapons. I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. Oh fucking god! Put that down! Uh, um... A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey! Then we're off. Maki, listen. Maki, look at me. Look at me right in my eyes. You looking? You listening? You're hearing. You're understanding. Whatever you do, you cannot kill. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> Not yet. We have to make sure everything is done. Hey! Before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. Huh? You scouted out the hangar? Uh, okay. Yeah? And I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. The bathroom? I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. If I remember correctly. And I also saw... Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar, being protected by four exocells. Is that alright? So we have to be careful that we're not spotted. <gasps> oh, I saw that too. Huh? What? You saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kibo? Yes. Yes, I thought maybe I could get through to Gokichi before we care. <gasps> Why would you do that, you fucking moron? So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own? Listen, Kibo, I know what I did was stupid. But Kibo, come on, you're not supposed to talk to the guy. Well... I'm sorry, I thought it would be a preferable... It would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. Hey! How'd it go? Obviously not good. As I thought. It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But... But I did witness a few things. Yeah. What? What did you witness? Well... We can discuss that later. For now... I'll... For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. For now... Suichi saw four exocells that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes. Yes, the green exocell. If I remember correctly... The green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. 
neither the alarm system nor the electronic barrier reacted to the exocell's presence. Could it be? Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on exocells? That's right. Considering it's where the exocells are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Hmm. Anyways, there are two exocells in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only electro bomb, we can't afford to miss. You're right. That's exactly right. Hmm. Well then, we're all for real this time. Hey everyone! Let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. No matter what. Energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall, one after another. All right. All right. Here I go. I have a very sneaking suspicion that the moment we go in there, Kokichi's just gonna be dead on the floor, and we're all gonna go, what the fuck? What a what? What? <laughs> what happened? But why? Everyone take on full sprint. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Really, Suichi? You're the last one? Come on, I thought we were all going at the same time. I don't hear the exocells. Oh, shit. Hmm. Huh? Anakuma's not here. He should have been protected by the exocell. And the exocells. They don't look like they're gonna move. What's going on? And there's only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. It's just like Kibo said. We should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. If all five of them are here, it will be impossible to execute the plan. All right. All right. Let's keep moving. Kokichi's so dead. He's so dead. <laughs> he is so dead. <laughs> there is no way. So Kaito. It's danger to call Kaito now. All right. Thought I would have a moment to like take a look. Well then. Everyone's here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Maki, are you ready with the electric bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we've rolled this into in the front of the shutter, we should disable the alarm system. That's obvious. This won't fail. Mm. The electro bomb has an effective range of 50 yards, at least for two hours. If Kokichi remote control is disabled, We'll stand a chance against the exocells. All right. I'll stop Kikichi before he gets to the exocell. But we, we better be ready for the worst. He might have to use the electro hammers. If he gets into the exocell, I'll stop him with the hammer. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What's the matter? What's wrong, Maki Roll? We're all ready to start, you know. That's true. Yeah, right. Then let's go. Magi triggered the electro bomb, then rolled it in front of the shutter. And then. Oh, it's beautiful. LA little cherry blossom effects. 100%. The alarm system's disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi! Suichi, will you do the antlers? Leave it to me. Alright, leave it to me. Fucking hit this panel. Watch out! Right. Why is the panel all fucked up? As I swung the electro electronic hammer, I suddenly noticed. Uh -huh. huh? The control panel was covered in marks as if damaged by something sharp. What are you trying to Sweetie, what are you doing? Hurry up! Okay. Sorry, I got it. No time to think about it now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. The electric barrier turned off. Everyone! Let's go. We all ran to the shutter at once. All right! 
You won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. You better be ready. This is it. All right. The remnants of despair end here and now. After opening the shutters, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. No fucking way. What? <laughs> A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar! <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going! The despair is not over yet! What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Yeah. Is that blood? It can't be. The body discovery announcement? Does that mean someone's in the press? What? Who? The only one in the hangars were Kokichi and Kaito. Must be one of them. Huh? What? Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead. <gasps> oh, look. Huh? Those clothes. They're Kaito's. What did you say? Then the one in the hydraulic press is. Fucking Suichi, go. Damn it! Someone use the fucking controls. <sighs> no, it's not possible. <laughs> Looks like you've all. You have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during this class trial. Extreme! That's what the killing game's all about, after all. And so, I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Okay. That's nice. Don't say you're gonna get... Don't say you're getting bored of this. Because things are about to get interesting. Now then. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation too. Uh... What? Hold on. You have to investigate? So the killing game is still gonna continue? The killing, the killing game will continue. <laughs> if the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then that's right. It means the mastermind, Kokichi, is still alive. I don't know. Check the fucking monopad. It might be Kokichi in there. Uh, what was that? If Kokichi's alive, then that means the one dead over there is uh... Kaito. That's wrong! No, it's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito would die. It has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when... Uh -huh. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Calm down. How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... Uh -huh. I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait! It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? Shut up. More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. No, I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. Right? He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. It's obviously the culprit. Indeed. We'll split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. Why you? No 
matter how how good a hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away with this. No. Wait. We can't leave yet. Uh, okay. We don't know for certain if the dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Why? And if Kaito's alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Mm. Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such stupid things. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible! I don't think Kaito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually... And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the exocells as well. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I just... I'm just saying it's possible. And even if it's Kokichi that was killed, doesn't mean that Kaito's the culprit. But how? So does that mean the culprit's one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible. Right. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito's dead. But I just can't believe that. Perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito's dead. Um... Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here, with our own hands, and reveal the truth in the trial. Don't tell me. So you want to continue the killing game? Because... A class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond that. That's right. I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. I understand. You're right. If the class trial is gonna happen anyways, then we should investigate. <sighs> but we already know the answer. But... But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. If he's just playing dumb and runs away, there's, there'll be nothing we can do. But... No, I don't think so. Jiko and Ishima cherish the killing game's rules. So, if the remnant of despair worships her, I don't think they'll ignore those. Then... Then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah. That's true. I understand the others. But why, Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Well then. Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. What? Uh-huh. The body was dis body was discovered in the Exocell hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. Uh -huh. yeah. That's it. That doesn't tell us anything. The identity of the victim's unknown. It doesn't even tell us the that much. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and culprit are. It's decided. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki. Still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but... But... Kaito told me. Don't worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? What? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now you're acting like Kaito, back in Gonta's class trial. 
It was like that at the time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. Um. There's something about the air in here that makes me feel off. I don't know if it's the electro bomb is the plane or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. But I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. Then. It's gotta be because of the electro bomb. Kiba's an electric appliance after all. <laughs> don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> really? I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Kiba left the hangar, swaying side to side. Hmm. Okay. Then I think I'll start investigating too. Huh? Oh. Will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No. No. You don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body if the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So, it should be fine for all of us to investigate by ourselves. Miko left in a hurry. <laughs> she left in a hurry. By left, we mean she walked two feet that way. <laughs> I wonder if Hiniko suspects. Huh? Suspect who? Uh -huh. Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi. But like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokishi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seems like... We were united towards hope for all this, but now we're split up. Could it be... Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony? Um... Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what the class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi's gonna hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. Like I thought. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. Who's the one keeping us together? But that's why he killed Kaito, and we're completely caught in his trap. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. Is it exactly what he wants? We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... No point standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it, I'm gonna begin the investigation. I'm a chef, chef too.